Entropy is the most confusing subject in the thermodynamics. Many students get confused about this. I like to clarify this as a complete explanation of what entropy is so that you get a good idea. Warning, this video is about the college level thermodynamics and it's not something else. Uh, uh, that's just a warning. Classic definition of entropy. Where well, entropy is defined as a third law of thermodynamics. And what it is, is a kernel process for ideal gas. Ideal gas has a kernel process which is reversible. And basically what it is, is you give a pressure and compress it and release the pressure and it's come back to the same volume you repeat many times then what's happened to the temperature when you compress it, the temperature increase when you decompress it the temperature decrease but the temperature doesn't come back to the original temperature it's going to be a little bit lower every time why because the when it's compressed the temperature goes up and temperatures diffused out if not reversible, you cannot contain the uh, energy, so you lose the energy. So when it's decompressed, the comeback temperatures are slightly lower. And since the entropy is defined as energy over T, when the temperature comes back slightly lower, what's happened? The entropy value increase. Okay? So this is a classic definition that this change is a reversible process the entro entropy difference is given by this the if temperature is same it doesn't come back to the same volume okay the it come back to the same volume then it's, it's going to be slightly uh, different the pressure and the overall this uh, um, entropy increase and increase of entropy due to the diffusion of the uh, energy that was a classic definition the issue of classical definition of entropy is Maxwell's demon suppose you have same pressure same amount of gas Two different type type 1 type 2 and this partition is closed initially and when you open what happens is it's a diffusion happen the type 2 get into type 1 area type 1 get into type 2 area so total energy and temperature stay same okay but the state of system changed the state of system so what is changed the when we calculate the entropy for the average temperature Okay, suppose you have a two different temperature here, the same amount of gas and same type of gas, only difference is temperature. So we calculate this, this uh, case, the entropy, after mixing the temperature, what's happened is the entropy increases so entropy seem to be indicating something um, that energy and temperature cannot indicate there is some additional state of system that can be expressed by entropy okay and now the Maxwell argue if there is a demon here and 
it's open the window when high temperature say this is a high temperature we can use type 1 type 2 gas too but in order to make it the uh, argument simple low temperature the higher speed can pass if it's lower speed let it pass other than that this demon close the door so if you leave it it's going to be separated by demon high temperature and low temperature okay so what's going on here just a little demon open close the window we can decrease entropy and but in the nature we never see the gas itself separated into low temperature and high temperature naturally there is a, a state of system to go stationary the stationary is all mixed up diffused and mixed up okay so with the demon you can avoid this that's what the Maxwell's argument is okay but the later the scientist figured out this fallacy well in order to have a demon open close window there's some energy and you are going to inject the energy once you inject the energy to the system you can decrease entropy so the separation itself two different things separated itself is higher energy state and it's mixed up it's actually lower energy state so this is not really energy because the gas energy we define doesn't show up when you mix two te different temperature it's going to be the average temperature and energy total energy is the same so there is something else other than energy and the temperature and the classic entropy indicating that state of change alone not energy or anything else state of change alone changed entropy so the scientists believe the temperature energy those all the parameters used in thermodynamics they are not sufficient to describe the state of the system something else is necessary and something to do with separation of gas molecules and stuff so Gibbs proposed this one new definition of entropy so gives according to gives state of gas where the gas molecules around you have two rooms which side it is mothers okay and if you mix it or separate it it's mothers so he borrowed the idea of information theory negative log p p is a probability to find the gas where that is okay in information theory the if you are not sure where the p is 50 50 0 0.5 so this is going to be one that is the unit information the unit information is one if we know 10% of a chance uh, then you have more information okay using the idea he formulated that suppose the number of molecule in the system to n one molecule can be on either side of room so this is the uh, combinatorial math you go through calculation um, the gives propose the entropy is the combination 
of the mo molecule's state, where the molecule is suppose two rooms, we divide even further into the room, and even small, we have many, many rooms, and where the molecule, gas molecule will be, okay? The combination we calculated, then enthalpy is that combination, log two combination, just like information, how much information we have, about where the gas molecules are about. Um, so this omega is the number of uh, this actually this is ohm uh, number of microstate. Okay, so number of microstate after you divide the room into many many small chamber and and you know the all possible placement of uh, gas molecules that's the microstate and log 2 times Boltzmann's constant he defined this and this going to show that when the molecule is separated into two rooms number of possible state decreases right so naturally this molecule, high temperature molecule, is on this side, low molecule temperature this side. If you divide the room even half smaller and even smaller, the number of possible state decrease. This keep going small. So entropy is smaller. If you open up all the windows, make it one single big room, the entropy increase okay so this is the number of state what you calculate now when you make the lowest temperature what happened is gas molecules start uh, stop moving around and only place it can stay is just single possible state it's all frozen then this become uh, you know the minimum so that's the um, the lowest em entropy so entropy is like how many state the system can get and that's gives idea of entropy now this entropy, the, it's not easy to calculate because every state, for example, you have a room and a gas molecule. How can you calculate this? I mean, it's how practical is it? It's not that practical, actually, the definition. But idea is matching up with the observation of nature. The more freedom you have for the molecules, it seem to be larger entropy. Okay, so that's what it is. So Boltzmann had the uh, ideal gas theory. He tried to improve called H theory and tried to get that the state into the equation and partially successful the now he can include a distribution of state but not as detailed as gives entropy definition so this is halfway successful and it's not really uh, uh, defining entropy itself so this gives an entropy definition became famous. Why it became famous? Well, the interpretation of this, the all the possible state, is called randomness. This interpretation is applied everywhere 
to explain. For example, when you mix the cream into the cup of coffee, okay, it's just spread. There's no way we can separate it. In order to separate, we have to spend great energy to somehow separate it. The egg drop on the floor and break. The egg never unbreak. It's always break and spatter. Okay? And this randomness increase. So, interpretation of this gives definition of entropy is the la randomness. Randomness seems to be the, the direction that nature is moving toward. And once you say that, then much larger implication exists. If nature is moving toward the randomness, probably that defines the direction of time. Entire nature, why time flow only one way? From past to future. Maybe past is lower entropy and future is higher entropy. Okay. And this become more philosophical discussion. When the universe created, entropy was very low. And ever since it's keep increasing. And that's defined the time. Okay. So that's the definition of entropy. But actually calculating this has a very little use of it. Classical definition of entropy is much easier. We can calculate in the most of the thermodynamic system. But the meaning of this wasn't clear. It became much clearer by GIF's definition. Okay? So that's what entropy is about. I hope you enjoyed listening to this video and please check out the video. We have many other interesting topics. Thank you.